Welcome back everybody to Farming Valley. Alright, well, since last episode in this one, it starts to rain. <laughs> well, hopefully we can uh, deal with the weather, or maybe what we can do is go into the music and turn the weather sound to 11%, so it's not quite so loud. Okay, so since last episode and this one of Farming... Farming, val farming Valley, I'm trying not to get mixed up with Harvest Festival, the one of the mods in here. There has been an update, a lot of has changes, so go over to Kian's blog and see the patch notes there. But uh, namely for myself in the stage where I'm at, a lot of it hasn't really changed that much, except for one thing. And that is namely, uh, heading on over to our automatic fisheries there is they are now able to use the aquaculture fishing rods which is great because there are so many um, there is definitely so many uh, enchants that you can do to the fishing rods to give you uh, extra uh, bonuses to output so I've got a few more uh, automatic fishes are happening there it's keeping me in about five to six thousand uh, coins a day what uh, what's going on here what happened oh I'm all out of people okay my peat farm has decided to, to stop for some reason uh, may have something to do with the fact Heat. Ah, hang on. Crafter, no. I moved all my recipes to another crafter in the basement, but it seems... Uh, why... why? Um, right, trigger auto crafting with redstone signal, no. Huh. That's kind of weird. I thought that I was going to be able to put my crafters anywhere. Apparently this is not the case. Hmm. Because I can't actually craft it here, so that's a, a bit of a problem. So, what if I go back down? Hmm. Because I know this this cable should actually connect to my whole system, and it should all it should just work. It should just work. This is very very um, confusing, and uh, of course I don't have. A pickaxe on me. Hopefully, this doesn't break it completely. Uh, yep, it sure did. Oh well, I'm gonna have to make another one at some stage. So, if I go back into here, place all these patterns back in. And then I type Pete. I don't quite understand what is going on here. Crafting grid to... It has to recognize one crafter. What? I really don't understand what is going on here. Um, pick? Yep, here we are. Okay, we're going to try and just refresh everything. So, low voltage, and I've just disconnected it from everything. So, I cannot attach that YO. Um, well, bugger. 
I'm gonna have to reattach it and replace everything like I had done before. Is that gonna be enough? No. Because I know I've done this in, an, in another episode. I know it. But why did that crafter decide to um, de-link? It's really, really strange. I don't... Because this has uh, happened all since the, uh, the actual update itself. Okay, so that's all linked up. Okay. So we'll place... That there, that there, and all the wood. Like that. Then, that should recognize... I only recognize this one crafter. I don't understand this. Place the crafter back down. Now I'm going to have to put the ear mask back, back on. There we go. Now probably... No, it's not called Pete, it's called Bog. Yeah. But... Let's just, just double check. Now that crafter is still there. Well, it seems as though it's refreshed everything. I don't understand why, but well, it looks like we have to uh, get another crafter at some stage. But uh, anywho, so getting back to uh, what I've been doing for the last probably day or two of in-game game day play is playing with bees. Now, I've come to the understanding that the bee ha beehives, the bee houses, they won't give you the mutations like going up the, uh, pro the uh, progression of the tiers of the bees. But what they will do, if you have a bee of uh, a mixed... Um, a hybrid, say, of uh, so, just take this diligent for for example, and the uh, meadows drone I've got here. If you've got a hybrid of the diligent queen and the meadows drone, and you have a drone with pure diligence, you can breed out the the meadows characteristic characteristic of the queen eventually if you just keep hammering it with. Uh, drones with incompatible mutations. They will. Uh, I have had some drones actually, so, some uh, queens actually go, like regress in their progression. So uh, it's been quite interesting dealing with that, just plugging bees in and just, just seeing how things go. So I've got a, a diligent stock here. That's a purebred diligent queen. Purebred common, purebred unweary, cultured. Um, this is just meadows. I'm trying to get to a rural uh, hive. Unweary. Uh, I think what am I doing with that is trying to get to an industrious bee. But we're getting there. And I have a stock for, for uh, rural bees. So that's really, really good. I can start really getting up into the higher tiers of... The bees that will give me these wheat and combs. Wheat and combs are great. Uh, I've also got a steadfast line here. I think that's definitely uh, a pure red line I'm not going to be able to get rid of. So, throwing these into the centrifuge, that will give us good old fashioned wheat, eh? And wheat equals money. So, that's where I'm at right now. Still trying to get up a decent stock of bees that will give me the wheat and combs. Getting crawling up the tiers of the, the bee industry or bee breeding. To I get to the stage where I'm getting a good amount of wheat in on a regular basis. So I only have two pieces of wheat there but 
it's worth it in the long run. It's worth it. Now, also, to couple in with the bee breeding, I've been breeding trees as well to the point where I've actually got the uh, walnut trees. Uh, I haven't decided whether I'm going to stop at the walnut trees or go for the chestnut trees. I've got three chestnut saplings. Now, the chestnut tree is like the walnut tree here and it needs four saplings for it to grow haven't got there yet but uh been working on it been definitely working on it so that's been pretty much what i've been uh, doing now if we uh sleep i believe there are a few uh recipes that have also changed not recipes but uh shop items now i believe there are the great granny sells a few more items and i believe there's a few more items that you can buy within the uh, general store here but not really interested in that at those right now I've just been smashing out the bees as much as I can so let's uh, just toy with this for a little bit right oh, I've also included in the mod pack the uh, JIB's uh, um, add-on it's just something so I can see where uh, B strains are gonna go so let's just exp explore here let's grab the combs out of here I still haven't yet to really really automate it hello cat how you doing yeah there you go in there but uh, also using the uh, portable analyzer quite a lot to identify strains of bees that I want to keep a, a, a track of and force their genetic uh, code to a, a place that I want them to go. Okay, so for example here, the Meadows Princess, I've got a rural drone here. So we'll take the Meadows Princess. Now we'll take our bee analyzer. We don't actually have any honey, which is a problem. Because I've been analyzing so much, you, I find that I'm really... I'm really churning through the the, uh, the honey drops, but at some stage where either I decide whether just to say bugger it, I'm going to go with the walnuts, or go up to the chestnut trees and I'll manage to get that one extra sapling, which has been really tough to get. That's uh, where I'm going to go. So the rural drone has an active of rural and an inactive of diligent. I should have actually analysed that diligent drone, but that was silly of me because. The diligent drone plus a meadows, so that's a pure bred diligent, more or less. Um, although it has other characteristics, which I'm really not that fast trying to get. We're going to take that into our meadows princess. Let's just have a look at the meadows princess. What's that got in, on it? So that has got um, a meadows. Uh, active strain and act inactive um, diligent so there is a possibility that this this particular combination will whoops didn't take it out it will either go in it has a possibility of, of being mutating into the rule uh, into a rule queen it also has a possibility of combining and going into a, the diligent branch also so i'm just taking that risk taking that gamble and hopefully rolling the dice we're going to get there but that's the way if you how i've been told is how you have to uh, take uh bee breeding you're just going to have to get a lot of stock going see i've got the diligent stock there but i don't have any more diligent bees for this particular Meadows Queen, but we have to, that's the one I just put in, isn't it? I've got an empty bee house here. I had, haven't really worked on anything. Uh, okay, oh, hang on. Aha! That was a great uh, place to, to get to. So this bee, I really don't have any more. Yes, honey. Honey is a problem. So where am I going to go from here? Get to okay. Probably going to um, 
could probably call it quits at some stage with these uh, little t tree uh, mutations and either go with the walnut and the, or the chestnut if I do get it. Put down another a, f a tree farm, have that a special kind of uh, multi farm where it, it only uh, like picks the nuts off the tree. It doesn't actually harvest the tree in itself. So we'll be able to get the nuts in and get, get the nuts for seed oil. Now the seed oil we use in a... Uh, I'm trying to remember now. Seed oil. Forestry, here we go. That's the... F da, 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 da. Yeah, in the squeezer. So we're going to take our, our nuts, where they be walnuts or, or chestnuts, and we're going to get seed oil. Now that seed oil, we're going to be using to... Uh, we can actually make impregnated casings if we so desired. But the one thing we really want to make is frames. So we to make the impregnated frames, we need impregnated sticks with string and that will give us two times production uh, reduces the uh, genetic decay and that will be all good for all round now I don't think there's any other frames that we have got available to us uh, we've got the proven frame the proven frame itself is is only available from um, B villages that I'm aware of, but yeah, I haven't actually seen any bee-based uh, uh, trading villages, so the impregnated frame is as high as we're going to be able to get to go, especially with that. So that's what I'm aiming for. So that will increase the amount of uh, amount of combs that we're getting and the, and the amount of money that we're going to get. So there's that. That we could possibly use. Uh, oh, purebred uh, rural drone. That's also could is definitely being able to be used. And we've got a diligent drone here too. So with this rural princess, what we can do. If I go to, since I've got the uh, J, uh, JEI plugin for uh, bees, I can just uh, right click that. So rural plus weary, weary, unweary will give us farmly. Farmly princesses plus industrious, which we've, we're not quite there yet on, along that uh, bee line to get the agrarian queen, the, uh, the, agra blah, 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 the agra agrarian queen. <laughs> And uh, that'll give us a 35% chance of actually getting wheat and comb. So, again, we want to progress up that chain. It takes a lot of dice throwing. It's randomized, and yeah. So I've got unwary stock here, which still hasn't uh, produced anything. Uh, do I actually have any unwary bees? Yes, I do. Down here, just analyze it. It's got a diligent um, strain there. The only risk with that is, oh no, there's no, there's no risk. There's no risk of mutation. Although the uh, bee that I'm going to be throwing it into, this is, this is the bee house. If I put that unwary drone in there, nothing would happen. No mutations would happen, but I want a mutation to happen. So do I have a spare apiary? Uh, I might just pinch this one. And I might just also check these other two drones. Again, we just have to try and take the best out of the lot. Uh, shortest, slower, slowest. Uh, shortest, normal. That's not too bad. So that middle one's actually winning out. So we'll go with that middle B. And hopefully we'll be able to get some of those better characteristics come through the genetic line. So for the meantime, we can just uh, slot that unweary queen in there. 
I uh, can't actually put them in here. Sad, but oh well. I really should uh, place a a grid out along that way. I really should actually look at uh, trying to uh, get into the wireless grid for the uh, refined storage. But uh, everything's been uh, pretty decent. Just been ticking along, putting bees through, and the slow grind to get where I want to go. Right, uh, let's see, where else are we at? Not really much more, to be honest. Far Farming Valley has, for me, hit a pretty a, a plateau of progression. I've got to the stage where I'm slowly get, get, getting through bees. I'm not gaining a lot of income from the uh, farms, but it's enough to keep me like buying more beehives <laughs> like here and there. So that's actually been really good. I haven't really been doing any farming because it's monotonous and boring. Although breeding bees could also be called that as well. But uh, yes, this is where I'm at with Farming Valley. Um, I may decide to ease up on the Farming Valley series until such time as something really major does happen. But uh, that could be anywhere from here and there. I'm also uh, concentrating on my own mod pack that I'm putting together. Uh, it's a, a sky block, which is not going to be very heavily gated. I, w I want to make a fun sky block with the uh, goal in mind to escape the sky block and escape to space. That's pretty much the goal. And using whatever resources that you can basically dredge up. Got a good bit, uh, like a amount of mods in there. I'm not really t tweaking the recipes that much. Just something nice and fun. That that's my that's my well not my dream. That's my vision for that little uh, piece of work. So uh, that's going to be the coming to the channel sometime soon. And uh, if you'd like to play along with that, I'm going to try and make sure. Well, I'm going to make sure there's a some way that you'll be able to get a, get your hands on it and have a, have a bit of a go. Alright folks, well if you've liked the video and liked the series thus far, do go ahead and click that like button. If, you've said, like, if you'd like to see anything else I've done in the past, or possibly in the future, or what I'm doing right now, check some of my playlists over the left to the right hand side. I've been Raytac, I'll see you next time.